Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and man, do we have a lot of new information about the upcoming Legend Alter. Along with that, we also know some new stuff about the upcoming Legend Artemis and Life Legend Reborn, and even some stuff about the district map, and we're gonna go over all of that in today's video. We're also gonna go ahead and give out some of the collection event skins to help you guys get the Cobalt Heirloom as the collection event reward. And also, fun little topic, if you guys haven't been paying attention, the giveaway winner is always announced at the end of the video, and also, you can get your comment picked from any video in the history of my channel, meaning the more that you comment on past videos, Videos, new videos on everyday videos your chances of winning increase it's not just one comment per the video you can go on shorts regular videos or anything throughout the history so leave as many comments as you can because it means it's more likely I'm going to see it and you'll be a giveaway winner but without further ado let's jump into today's topic so yesterday Oz went ahead and leaked the brand new legend alter and you can see her in her glory here she looks pretty awesome she's got a jumpsuit very green stylish hair as we knew earlier from another leak along with that she seems to have some kind of mechanical tail now her abilities are where it gets pretty interesting her passive is called gift from the rift and she can remotely interact with the death box to claim one item cannot be armor her tactical is called void passage and it creates a portal passageway through a surface we knew about this because it was from cave who was one of the original leak legends also it is the same ability that ash originally had and so did revenant when they were originally playtesting it and the ultimate is called the void nexus where you create a regroup point that all allies can remotely interact with to open a phase tunnel back to that location overall her kit seems pretty interesting she's basically a combination between wraith and also ash and there was a huge theory that alter when it was first shown on the screen because the abilities show seen from the void the character's name is alter that this was going to actually be an alternate version of wraith and well that very well still could be the case we don't have any confirmation on the lore of the character when looking at the legend design it definitely seems like this is actually a little bit more based on margo from the catalyst stories from the outland the hair is almost identical although a different color and just the facial structure and lipstick remind me a ton of it we've actually seen the alternate version of wraith it's almost an identical copy alter could also very well be a reference to altering the environment around them and we do know that margo was an eco terrorist i know it's a bit of a stretch with that connection but it's just something in my head that seems to make a lot of sense but we are going to find out a lot about this on april 22nd because that is when we are going to start getting the first teasers for season 21 which is going to be pretty exciting and the big question is well what are we likely going to get because there is a new teaser that was shown to us that seems to be coming on April 21st. And it has to do about Broken Moon saying disaster over Cleo, collision with object or unknown origin destroys stasis netcode. And this actually ties into something else that I heard back on January 29th, before we even got season 20, Exo, who let me know a bunch of stuff about the upcoming season, did let us know that Broken Moon update is for 2024. Meaning that the next map we get is likely Broken Moon, and it's likely gonna see its first changes since its introduction. Which also makes me think that once again, this is gonna be Alter who ends up being Margo, because Broken Moon and Margo have a huge deep connection along with Catalyst, and it would make sense that when she is introduced, there's a brand new version of the map coming in. Because as we know, Districts is planned and in the works, but it's not exactly ready yet. There was one teaser put out by Hypermiss like two seasons ago, yet we haven't seen it in game whatsoever. We just know that the Electro District are to evacuate immediately. Along with that, there was a Reddit user who said the new map won't go live until season 22, which confirms other things that I have heard. So it seems like we're gonna be waiting a little bit longer for District, even though it is still in the files with images like this. We do know it's the Suatomo area, and it's even called Eastern District View. Just unfortunately does not look like it's quite ready to come in yet, but we did get some other information with all this stuff coming out in the files. One is the fact that there is another placeholder file for a legend named Artemis, which is in the Greek religion, the goddess of wild animals, but they're also known for being bow related, which could mean that when this character releases, we finally get the scorpion and the bow returning out of the care package. It's just a theory but we don't know 100 percent they were listed in the upcoming legends along with gibraltar v1 tinkerer flux lifeline reborn and artemis right there of course cave is there which we now know is going to be alter meaning that the names here are going to very much differ from what we see in game alter is nothing like cave and don't forget it's season 22 likely when we get the new district map is when we're going to get lifeline reborn oz also let us know the passive is unchanged the tactical steel heals people in area of effect however the drone can be attached to someone and it will follow them and the ultimate shock box 3000 is a reverse horizon alt and the last thing i really want to cover is that oz did also let us know what the brand new artifact customization looks like you can see a ui right here looks like there's a lot of different pieces i can see why crowd window said that this will eventually equal out to about 700 dollars it makes a lot of sense although i will say it is a little bit unfortunate 
because I still don't think it's anywhere near as cool as the regular heirlooms. Although it looks like there's a death box there as well. So maybe we'll be able to change those around a bit as well. Let me know down below. What are your guys' thoughts on Alter coming into the future of the game? What are your thoughts on Lifeline Reborn? Along with that, what do you guys think about the future of Apex Legends and what it's going to do with upcoming maps? And also don't forget to check out this channel right here where I cover information on Helldivers 2, Finals, and so many other games. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.